We are now at Bilex Barton Bosch and today we will talk about mud flaps. Yes, so uh, Tesla, they have sent me these mud flaps. Well, they call it mud flap splash guard, whatever, you, you know what these are. So we have a set here that comes in a big box with, with some instruction, man, uh, instruction uh, on how to install it. Uh, I will show you by the way, they have some pictures here. Uh, about how you install this it it basically has a big and a small one you can choose and then you have to cut something here uh, get a twist the wheel and everything so you supposed to be able to do this by yourself okay and all right if you this is one of them and then this is let me see okay let me see this is a, a third party mud guard so we will complain uh, we will compare now this one versus this other one from Tesla and for the record uh, I think this was in, from China right yes this yes. is from China so we want to we might use some cheap Chinese product instead of the Tesla original Tesla same is for China but <laughs> Tesla's uh, Tesla's equipment is also from China <laughs> this one is rubber part but this one is hard plastic hard plastic yeah um, so if we compare it here for example, if we take the Tesla, let's say we take out that one. Uh, let me see how small. So it would stay there roughly. Okay. And then if you put on the rubber part, it will actually extend quite low. And I heard about people who, who added, they use this one, uh, the, the, the extended version. The problem is that it, it goes so low there that when you run over speed bumps, it scrapes at the speed bumps. And some people turn around and look what the heck is going on. So uh, this looks pretty weird. Uh, the car looks like a truck. <laughs> if I have this one, it's way too long. Okay, and then if we compare with this one, okay, the I don't know, it's a no name, whatever. Um, it stays like that, which actually looks okay. It's not too flashy or whatever, uh, but. One important thing is, you see here, it, it extends up here, the plastic part, the protective part. Uh, if you compare with the Tesla one again, yes. maybe take, take out the plastic, uh, uh, take out the rubber part. It's only the small one here. Okay. Okay. If you take, wow, you see, you see, you see how little protection you get there. So it's either there or the other one again, please. There, way higher protection. And how was it again, Robert? It was more protection it's here. It's more protection for uh, charm. Uh huh. This kind of. Yeah. And one other thing is that we saw, we have seen pic a video of the Tesla, uh, the Tesla mudguard collecting dirt, and you see it's just a, it's a big, it's a big. Uh, hill. It's hill. Yeah, it's a big space here where all the dirt can collect, and there's just one tiny drainage plug, which will probably get clogged quite easy. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas this one, um, well, okay, I think this, is, uh, this side, yeah, this, this side. side. You see that it's more open. So if you compare, and it has a it has a fairly large opening here. So when you put it, if you put it on the car like this, uh, you can kind of see that this this part here is where all the dirt and the water will will pour out. So it actually. It's a way bigger opening there. So, uh, and the last one last thing is that this set here comes. Can you see the other one? Uh, it comes with for the front. Yes. This is the back, right? This is for back side. And yes. Tesla don't have back side. It's yeah. So the front. Yes. So here we put them there. So the Tesla only comes for the front, not the back. Uh, and I think it still looks okay, and yes, also good. And it, it protects, it protects against, uh, I yeah, guess, rocks. It's, uh, it's very safety for uh, another car. Car in the back. Yeah. yeah so that's good. Um, so I will actually go for these no-name uh, ones because they they look better. They oh, sorry, they they feel better. They have better protection. They have better drain. Uh, what is it? How do you call it? Drainage. Uh, let me see. Okay, we can see it yeah, here. Uh, this one has also, yeah, I can I can feel it here, the, the draining. 
uh, where, where, where the where, yeah here yeah, it just runs runs off. Here. yeah so <laughs> to me it's a no-brainer this one looks better <laughs> yeah okay let's uh, install them then okay we're now preparing to mount one of the mud guards uh, so took off two of these uh, plastic uh, things uh, clean a little bit around there and then they are also putting some protective film here so we're gonna check it out now so there's just some okay that's the that tape double double sided tape, the tape yeah. oh, okay okay oh okay so that's the protective thingy oh, all right so I guess you can do this at home if you are skilled enough. As for me, oh, I will leave it to the experts. And then they just pop it in with the protective tape and stuff. I can see that this is way better to, to work with if, if you can race the car uh, in a garage. But at home, uh, it could be a bit uh, clumsy. So, hmm, okay, and then the, it needs, it needs to, you need to add one screw. Well, it probably comes with a set. Okay, so those are the plastic uh, screw, the plastic uh, things. And one screw there. So all of this, all of this fits in the in the Tesla original holes or whatever you don't have to add anything else extra so that's a good point okay, so now we take out one of those uh, screws this is again uh, the, the original screws before we mount the rear one so the rear and the front is slightly different so this is the rear one with a double-sided tape so it's mainly to reduce vibration Okay, so we just squeeze. Do you see this one? Is it, oh, it, yeah, it goes behind be, behind that one there, holds into place, and then the plastic uh, thingy. I'm not sure what you call it, rivet or something. Just pop it in. Again, no screwing around here. Um, was that, you know, I heard in the when you uh, people who added uh, mud guards for Model X, they put it. Somewhere here, I don't remember where it was. Um, uh, there, you had to screw into the car. You don't use original holes. And then, if you have a six or seven seater, some people they puncture the the air vent going to the rear of the car. <laughs> but here, there's no risk about it. We're only using all the original uh, uh, holes and everything. That's the back side. Oh, okay, it looks it looks good. Okay, we are done. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, can I live with it? Um, I guess it, it blends better in if it's a black car, right? You kind of see the edges of it. But the problem if I don't have this mud guard is that I always get strips of schmutz just already from the trip. Uh, after I wash it in the gas station on my way home, I would get dirt strips there. You can see on my videos, uh, I get all that schmutz all the time so I think it looks okay it, it's not too intrusive it's not too flashy um, yeah and I wonder okay what what does it do with the consumption um, I guess it increases consumption slightly it, it kind of disturbs the aerodynamics on the front and also on the back here but yeah this car is already pretty efficient anyway so I would just leave it on here uh, all year summer and winter and by the way to, to compare um, to see this one here again we already we just happen to have one model 3 here with EB which is fairly new this is a non-performance but this one see it comes with the mud flaps from the factory so it looks like this yeah so now we can actually see it mounted on the car the, I guess I guess it comes with the short mud flaps and you can already see now uh, how little 
uh, clearance you have. You see, I have, I have barely a fist of clearance here. <laughs> and then if you put on the extended one, <laughs> it would just scrape on the ground all the time. But it only comes with the front, no, nothing in the back. Uh, so quickly in comparison between mine. Yeah. So we have to see, you know what I should do? Let's drive around uh, for a bit. I would try to seek Schmutz or Schmutz might find me. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we should try to take them off after a couple of months to see if there is any problems. Actually, oh, well, I'm not sure about that. There's double side tape. Well, we can always add new, uh, no new tape or whatever. So yeah, let's uh, let's do that. I want to see, but I think I did the right choice by going for these no-name ones instead of uh, the Tesla original. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.